in a previous video, I replaced a muffler on my truck because it was making a lot of noise. Now we're going to take the opportunity to take a look at that muffler, see why it was making so much noise, and see just how exactly mufflers work in the first place. So now that we've got this muffler out, let's take a look and see if we can see why it was uh, noisy as it was. If we take a look here, looks like that seam is a little bit opened up as opposed to here. But more telling, look at this. Right here, you can see it's all pushed out. Pretty flat here, pretty flat here. But here, it's been pushed out. So what's happened is this thing has expanded from the inside. And the reason that that would happen is there was most likely a large backfire. That backfire would have gone down in there, caused uh, an expansion of the gas inside of it. As you noticed before, the inlet on this is actually bigger than the outlet, so gas Actually, there's back pressure, so the gas is held in there, which I'm sure exacerbated the problem, caused it uh, during a backfire to expand and swell up, and it split these seams. Now, it's interesting, and we'll take a look at pictures. I am hoping I've got some pictures of the one that I re uh, put in as a replacement, the thrush. I didn't specifically take pictures of it or pay attention to it, but it is a welded muffler. So all of the seams on that thrush are welded, whereas this one, during manufacture, they just take the pieces of steel, uh, bring them together, you know, in a nice uh, piece like this, they bring them together and then fold it over. That's what's caused this guy to start making some noise. Now that we have it out and in a nice spot, though, let's get into it and see what it looks like on the inside. So you can see, this is really, really, really simple. There's not much to this at all. We've got a pipe that comes in here. The exhaust gas flows in. This pipe is perforated to allow some of the gases to come into the overall chamber. Let's take a look if we can get this. pipe is open here, so gas comes in to this rear chamber, but then it really has nowhere to go other than back up through here, comes back forward into this middle chamber, at which point it can go through some of these small perforations here in the outlet, but it's Unlikely you're going to get a lot of gas through there. Most of it goes through this perforated plate here into this very forward chamber. And then from the forward chamber, we again have an opening here. And the gas goes out and then out the tailpipe. That's all there is to it. This one doesn't even have any sort of a sound deadening blanket on it. Doesn't feel like it's got any sort of a coating on it at all. So that's all there is to it. It's just a couple of pipes uh, in a chamber. Some of them might be stuffed with a fiberglass insulation or have a fiberglass insulation blanket around them. Some of them are also a little bit more complex to try to get 
acoustic waves that cancel one another out to try to make it a little quieter, but that's as simple as they are. There's not much to them. That's how a muffler works.